Welcome to Geometry Pro AP. Today we're going to do writing equations of special segments of a triangle on a coordinate plane. We'll use the definitions of altitude, perpendicular bisector, and median. We'll also use a lot of point slope like we did back in previous chapters. Some information I want you to write down to start. We have here that a median it goes through a vertex, which is our point, and a midpoint, which is a point. And if you have two points, you can write an equation or a line. We did that back in chapter three. We have an altitude, which goes through a vertex, which is a point, and is perpendicular to the opposite side, which is what gets us a slope. So I guess there's a point and a slope, which we can write an equation from. And then finally, the perpendicular bisector, which goes through a midpoint, and is perpendicular to the side with the midpoint. That's a point and a slope. And so we can use a point and slope there. We're going to go through three examples so that you can follow the process. First example, first example is going to be a median, so it's going to go through a midpoint. And a midpoint for, if we're going to do a median through B, that means we're going to have to do the midpoint of AC. And so the midpoint of AC will be negative 6 plus negative 2 divided by 2 and 4 plus negative 5 divided by 2. So that's going to be negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. And negative 1 divided by 2, which is negative 1 half. So our midpoint is negative 4, comma, negative 1 half. So negative 4, comma, negative 1 half. Next, we're going to need our slope from B to that midpoint. And so to find that slope, we're going to use our slope formula. So y2 is going to be 0 minus y1, which is negative 1 half. x1 would be 4 minus a negative 4. So that's going to be a positive 1 half divided by 8. And if I look at 1 half divided by 8, same thing as multiplied by 1 over 8, multiplied by reciprocal. So our slope is equal to 1 over 16. Alright, so we take our point and our slope. I'm going to use the point with four zeros since so it's a very easy point. Y minus zero equals negative, oops, sorry, not negative, it's positive. One over 16 times X minus four. Y equals one over 16 X minus four over 16. So that's Y equals 1 over 16 minus 1 over 4, because that 4 over 16 can simplify. And this is our equation of our line for our median. So we have a midpoint. We take the vertex. Once we find the slope of that line, then we can pick one of those two points, plug it back into point slope, and get our equation of our line. Next example is the altitude through A. So since we're going to have this vertex, we're going to use this point, and we need to know it's going to come over here and it's going to make a right angle. And so we need a right angle with this side. So we need the slope of BC. So the slope of BC is going to equal, let's just count it. One, two, four, five. So five up and one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. And so there's our slope. All right, and so we need our point and our slope. Oh, well, actually, we need the perpendicular of this slope. So the perpendicular will be negative 6 over 5. And we're going to take this slope and this point and plug it into point slope. So y minus 4 equals negative 6 over 5 times x minus a negative 6. y minus 4 equals negative 6 over 5x. Two negatives make a positive. We got negative 36 over 5. We're going to add 4. But I can't add 4 to this. got to have it with the denominator 20 or 5. So I got to put 20 over 5, which is 4. So we're adding 4 to this. So y equals negative 6 over 5x minus 16 over 5. And this is our equation of our altitude. So we need our vertex, which is our point. We need our slope of BC so we can do the perpendicular of this. All right, and so that's the last that one there. And now we go to our last one. We need the perpendicular bisector of AC. So first we need the midpoint of AC. 
And so that's going to be negative 6 plus negative 2 divided by 2, 4 plus negative 5 divided by 2. So this is going to be negative 4 comma negative 1 half is our midpoint. We need the slope of AC. Well, we can just count this. So this is 4, 9, so that's 9 down. And let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Now, that's the slope of AC, but we need the perpendicular because a uh, perpendicular bisector makes a right angle with its side AC. So perpendicular, that would be 4 over 9. So we need this point and this slope and the point slope. So y minus our y value, which is negative 1 half, equals 4 over 9 times x minus our x value, which is negative 4, y plus 1 half equals 4 over 9, 2 negatives make a positive, minus 16 over 9. <coughs> I'm going to subtract 1 half, and I'm going to subtract 1 half. I can't really subtract 1 half from 16 over 9, so let's make these have the same denominators of 18. That would be times 2 and times 2, so that would be a negative 32. This is going to be a negative 9 over 18. Since they're both negative, y equals 4 over 9. x minus 41 over 18. And that is going to be our equation of our perpendicular. So remember, take the point, take the opposite reciprocal slope, plug it into point slope, and work the equation of your line. And that wraps it up.